Namaste friends. In today's KCET final pen 2020 series, I am going to discuss about redox reactions, synopsis, then questions. And it's a very simple chapter. And for exams also, it is in CET especially, it is asked very less question. Even some year there is no question. Some year there are only one question, remember. So, at least whatever uh, I have explained here, if you remember these many things, that is enough to solve the question on this. But it will help you in some other chapters like the D and F block elements, remember. Yes, redox, nothing but reduction and oxidation. What is reduction? See, removal of oxygen. Reverse process is oxidation. So, addition of oxygen. Addition of hydrogen is of reduction. Removal of hydrogen is oxidation. See, oxygen is electronegative element. Correct? So, removal of electronegative element is reduction. Oxygen is electronegative, hence addition of electronegative element is oxidation. Similarly, addition of electropositive element is reduction. Removal of electropositive element because hydrogen is electropositive, oxidation. Gaining of electron, reduction. Losing of electron, oxidation. And very simple, decrease in oxidation state is ox reduction. Increase in oxidation state is oxidation. Remember this point, very important. Then, what are oxidizing agents generally? Oxidizing agents are those substances which can oxidize the other and itself get reduced. Remember, itself get reduced. The reducing agent is the one which will reduce the other, itself get oxidized. Remember that. So always, for itself reverse process, whatever the name is there, oxidizing agent, for itself, that is a reverse process called reduction. That's all. Oxidation state. Or oxidation number is nothing but the real or apparent charge. Apparent means imaginary charge present in the atom. So there are, there are some rules for assigning oxidation number. These many rules you have to perfect. See, first of all remember for elements in their elementary state like elements like these or gases like H2O2, N2 etc. are taken as zero. Very important. <laughs> for monoatomic ions, the oxidation number of the atoms equal to its charge. For example, if it is K plus, Na plus, like this if it is there, then the oxidation state is plus 1, plus 1. For hydrogen is always plus 1, remember, for hydrogen is always plus 1, except in only exception cases like ionic hydrides, like NaH, CaH2, these are all minus 1, because here hydrogen is more electronegative, sodium or potassium is less electronegative, hence hydrogen get minus 1 charge. Then oxidation number of the oxygen is equal to minus 2. Always it is minus 2, except plus 2 in OF2, because oxygen is less electronegative now, fluorine is highly electronegative, hence it is plus 2 in OF2, plus minus 1 in peroxides, minus 1 in peroxides like hydrogen peroxide, sodium peroxide, like that. Fluorine is always minus 1, remember this point. For halogens, you can take it as generally minus 1, but halogens like Cl, Br, I can exhibit plus 3, plus 5, plus 7 also, but fluorine is always minus 1. For alkali metal, plus 1. Alkaline earth metal, sorry, plus 2 it is. Alkaline earth metal, plus 2. So, for alkali metals, plus 1. Alkaline earth metals, plus 2. Sum of oxidation state of all the atoms in the neutral molecule is equal to 0. If it is not neutral, then the whatever the charge is on the molecule is there, that is equal to you have to take. So, these are all the rules. So, if you are not understood, pause the video and see this. Then we will see some examples in this case. So, if you are not understood, very simple, if you are not understood how to calculate, I am explaining this. So, be careful. Here also, you can pause the video and you can calculate the oxidation state of the element present in this page. Then you can see this. Fine. <laughs> Cr2. Cr in K2Cr2O7. See, potassium dichromate you can see. In this case, Cr you have to calculate. K. K is what? So, alkali metal, that is plus 1. Correct? So, plus 1 into how many k are there 2 plus chromium 2 are there how many chromium 2 but chromium we have to calculate hence i will take it as x plus 7 is oxygen the charge on the oxygen is always remember minus 2 charge on the oxygen only minus 2 only if it is peroxide it is minus 1 and of2 it is plus 2 so minus 2 minus 2 Total charge on this molecule is 0. 0. Now you solve this. So you are going to get it as 2x minus 
so 12 because minus 14 plus 2 minus 12 equal to 0 so x is equal to plus 6 see like this you have to calculate very simple yes in s2s yes. yes in s2s you can see so h is plus 1 into 2 two hydrogens are there so plus x i have to calculate sulfur is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 2 sulfur in h2s is minus 2 Similarly here sulfur, so 2 into plus 1 hydrogen, how many hydrogens are there? 2, plus 1 is charge, plus x I will write, plus 4 into minus 2, that is oxygen is minus 2, is equal to 0. So calculate this, solve this, x is equal to 6 you are going to get, plus 6, x is equal to 6 you are going to get, like that mn. So, in this particular case, K is plus 1, only 1 is there, plus Mn is X, plus 7 into 4, so oh, oxygen is minus 2, 4 into minus 2 is equal to 0 here, because total charge is 0, so you are going to get X is equal to plus 7, so you can solve like this, Cl in NaCl O3 it is, NaCl O3, so Na is plus 1, plus x cl 1 cl is there plus oxygen is 3 charge is minus 2 is equal to 0 so you are going to get it as minus 6 plus 1 minus 5 so x minus 5 is equal to 0 x is equal to 5 like this p in s3 po2 so 3 into plus 1 plus x plus oxygen 2 into minus 2 is equal to 0. So, here you can see minus 4 plus 3. So, x is equal to plus 1 is left. Plus 1 here. S in SO3. So, every time not necessary like, do like this. Without doing this calculation, you have to tell the answer. Because in competitive exam, what happens is we will not have much time. Hence, you have to do this calculation in your mind only. See, I will tell you here. X minus 6 here because oxygen minus 2 into 3 minus x minus 6 equal to 0 x is equal to plus 6 right so I will write that directly now in this case like this when the charge is given remember when the charge is given that is equal to total charge minus 2 CR is 2 I want x 2x plus 7 into minus 2 right so 2x minus 14 is equal to minus 2 so 2x is equal to 12 x is equal to 6 correct x is equal to plus 6 charge here like that see here charge total is equal to minus 2 mn is x mn is x plus 4 into minus 2 right so x minus 6 equal to minus 2 uh, minus 8 equal to minus 2 so x is equal to plus 6 you are going to get like this you have to calculate oxidation state but there are some exceptions see here in this particular case if you calculate 2 hydrogen is 2 hydrogen 1 into 2 plus x minus 10 equal to 0 because 5 into minus 2 so if you calculate x is equal to 8 you will get but this is wrong x is equal to 8 the answer why it is wrong because remember sulfur having a configuration that is outermost configuration 3s2 3p4 how many electrons are there in the valence shell so total 6 only then how it is 8 possible so it is not at all possible so hence the meaning is that there is a peroxide linkage remember whatever the exception I have written here for this you have to know the structure so now if you can ask me sir how to know the structure remember these two already we have completed in oxoacids of sulfur if you remember the structure also so structure will be like this yes double bond o, double bond o OH, O, O, H, like this. So, now remember there is a peroxide linkage. Now, peroxide linkage means what? This is minus 2, this is minus 2, this is minus 2. But this is minus 1, minus 1, peroxide linkage. Which means without knowing the structure of these, we cannot tell the sulfur oxidation state exactly. So, these are all exceptions. Exceptions are very less in number. You have to remember this. So, remember that... <laughs> H2SO5, now you calculate, now you calculate, so 2 hydrogen plus X plus 
See oxygen minus 2 here is 2, minus 2 here is 1, 2, 3. So 3 into minus 2 plus minus 1, minus 1. 2 into minus 1 is equal to 0. So peroxide is minus 1 you have to calculate. Correct? So now if you calculate, so minus 2 and here plus 2, it will get cancelled. Minus 2 plus 2, x minus 6 equal to 0. So x is equal to 6 is the answer. See, 6 is allowed because 3s to 3p4. So 6 is allowed. So they like this, remember. S2, S2, O8. Structure is like this. S double bond, o, double bond, o, OH. Oxygen, oxygen. S double bond, o, double bond, o, OH. This is the uh, structure. Pyrosulfuric, pyrodisulfuric acid it is. This is monosulf, mono, monoxo, mon, sorry. Uh, peroxo monosulfuric acid, peroxo disulfuric acid, not pyro, sorry. Peroxo disulfuric acid. So there is a peroxide linkage here, minus 1, minus 1. And these are all minus 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is minus 2. So now you calculate. Hydrogen is 2 plus 2x because sulfur plus minus 2 how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 into minus 2 and 2 into minus 1 equal to 0. Now you calculate. You will get so minus 2 minus 2 get cancelled. 2x is equal to 12. So 2x is equal to 12. x is equal to 6. So this is correct. So remember that. So in such cases you have to know the structure. If you calculate directly you will get it here. So 2 plus 2x minus 16 equal to 0. x is equal to plus 7 you will get. Yes. Plus 7 is not possible once again. This is the reason. Remember. Now CR in CRO5. Generally you calculate CR is x. So O5. 5 into minus 2 equal to 0. x is equal to 10. Remember in exam they will, they will give you first option as 10 only. Because they want to confuse you people. So what to do? X is equal to 10 is not at all possible because chromium configuration you see after argon 4s1 3d5 sorry yes 4s1 3d5 total only 6 electrons we have. After argon we have only 6 electron. Then how it is 10 possible? You cannot remove 10 electron. Hence something is wrong. Then what you have to do? You have to know the structure. CRO5 is a very famous molecule, very important molecule. Remember, you have to know the structure of that. So, butterfly structure we call it as CR double bond O, oxygen, oxygen like this, oxygen, oxygen like this. Butterfly structure we call it as crown shape also we can call it as. Now you can see there are 4 oxygen minus 1, only 1 oxygen minus 2, which means X minus how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal to 0. So, X is equal to 6. Now it is correct. These are the three very important exceptions. You, can, you may have seen some more exceptions like this, but I have taken these three very famous what we come across, remember. So understand correctly. Then, disproportionation reaction. What is disproportionation reaction? Very famous one. Disproportionation reaction is nothing but the reaction in which the same element undergo, the same element undergo oxidation state from both oxidation as well as reduction. The same element in the compound undergo both oxidation as well as reduction. These are all called as disproportionation reaction. For example, you can say oxidation state of Cl is here plus 5. You calculate by using the same. Yeah, K is X. K is plus 1. Plus 1 plus X minus 6 equal to 0. X is equal to plus 5. KClO4 it is plus 7. KCl it is minus 1. So you can see Cl here to here. This is oxidation from Cl here to here. This is reduction. See same element undergo both oxidation and reduction. It is called as disproportionation reaction. So many examples you, also, you can see. But main three important examples I have taken. Here Cl is 0 elemental state. Here it is minus 1. Right. NaClO3 already I have calculated. It is plus 5. Now you can see Cl to Cl. Reduction. Because minus 1. From Cl to Cl, oxidation because 0 to plus 5, this is called as disproportionation reaction. Then Mn, you can see Mn plus 6 here, already I have calculated. See, I have already calculated here, hence I have written directly. Plus 6 here. Then MnO4 minus also if you calculate, plus 7 you will get. Because it is obtained from KmnO4. KmnO4 is plus 7, nothing but MnO4 minus is also plus 7. So now, 
it is plus 7 and MnO2 it is plus 4. Now you can see Mn to Mn 6 to 7 oxidation. So this one 6 to 4 reduction. See this is called as disproportionation reaction. But note that this is not disproportionation reaction. Very very important. This is not disproportionation reaction. See Mn is plus 7 here. Plus 7. Here Mn is plus 2. Here Mn is plus 4. You can say, sir, here 7 to 4 means uh, uh, reduction, plus 2 to 4 means oxidation. This is, this is also a disproportionation reaction. No, this is not a disproportionation reaction, my dear students. Remember, why? Because disproportionation reaction means the element present in one oxidation state that should be reactant side. The element present in one oxidation state that should be reactant side. Product side you have to get two compounds of the same element having different oxidation state. Understood? So according to the disproportionation reaction rule, so element in the reactant side that should be present in one compound. Here you can see two compounds it is there. Then product should give two compounds but here only one compound. You can say this reaction if I reverse now it is disproportionation but this is not a reversible reaction I cannot do that. But this reaction is not disproportionation reaction. Important if you see neat paper recently it was asked on this. By giving four reactions which is not disproportionate reaction or which is disproportionation reaction such questions they can ask. This is about the disproportionation reaction. Next we will move to very important balancing redox reaction. Remember only for the first one I will tell it in detail. Next one directly I will show you how we can do, how we can save your time. Fine. Acidic medium they have given. Generally remember acidic medium means at the last step you will the balance hydrogen and oxygen. Remember that. So basic medium I will tell you. Acidic medium means in the last step you have to balance hydrogen and oxygen. Fine. In this case first what you have to do is you write all the oxidation states except oxygen and hydrogen. See oxidation state you can see. So Mn plus 7. See how to calculate already I have explained. If you are not understood please go through that video. So, plus 7 and here it is plus 4. Correct? Br is minus 1 here. Minus 1 charge already given. BrO3 minus what is oxidation state? See, Brx minus 6 equal to minus 1. X is equal to plus 5. So, Br is equal to plus 5. Right? So, here it is not the theory exam. Yeah, I know. In the first PUC theory exam when you are written. So, if you leave some steps, they have cut the marks. But here, there is no problem like that. So, I will directly tell. So, now you can see. This is also not necessary to write. For the first problem, I am writing in detail. MnO4 minus 2 MnO2. Number of units changed is C. Plus 7 to plus 4. Plus 7 to plus 4. Which means how many unit change? 3 unit change. Correct? So 3 unit change. So 3 electron change. Now, Br minus 1 to BrO3 minus. This is plus 5. This is minus 1. How many unit change? See, don't do like 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. I know this calculation is very simple but it is wrong here. So here you have to do see minus 1 is there. Minus 1 next number is 0. 0 next number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which means these many electrons changed. Remember that these many electrons changed here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 unit changed. Minus 1 to plus 5 means 6 electron changed. So I think you have understood first step. Write whatever the elements are there and change in oxidation state. Then if it is simplifying, then you simplify. 1s are, 2s are. Then what you have to do? This 2 multiplied to Mn. This 2 multiplied to Mn. This 1 multiplied to Br. Cross multiplication. So that your oxidation states are going to balance. 2 Mn, 1 Br. So that you write it here only. Directly I will write. So MnO4 minus 2. So 2 MnO4 minus plus 1 Br minus give rise to so 2 MnO2 2 MnO2 plus 1 BrO3 minus BrO3 minus correct so like this we have written now now what you have to do <coughs> now acidic medium is there correct so now you balance remaining elements remaining elements means here 2 MnO4 already it is there 2 MnO4 2MN, 2MN balanced. Right? Br minus BrO3. 1 Br, 1 Br balanced. So 2MNO2. 
plus BRO3. So you do, should not touch any of this. Now you calculate oxygen. How many oxygen is needed? See, 4 to the 8 oxygen is here, this side. So 2 to the 4 plus 1 plus 3, 7. You can see 4 to the 8 oxygen is here. Correct? Huh? So in this particular case, here 3 oxygen plus 2 to the 4 plus 3, 7 oxygens are there. Hence, how many oxygen I need? 1 oxygen. 1 oxygen means remember we cannot add, we cannot add only oxygen directly. So simple rule you remember, wherever you need oxygen, you will add water. Wherever you will need hydrogen, you will add H plus. Remember this, this one and this one you can add, not H and O directly. Here 8 oxygen, here 2 to the 4 plus 3, 7 oxygen. So I need 1 oxygen. So I have added 1 oxygen in the form of water. So now you can see 2 hydrogens are there. So I will balance it with 2H plus. 2H plus. Now this is the balanced chemical equation for this. Now if you calculate, charges are also going to be equal. See 2 minus plus 1 minus 3 minus plus 2 plus 1 plus is left. Sorry, 1 minus is left. See 1 minus is here like this. Charges are balanced emit the automatically. Remember that point. I think you hope. I hope you understood this. I will tell you another example. See important example. See this. So here in this particular case, first you see here what all the oxidation states are there. See MnO2 once again plus seven. I will write that MnO4 minus two, Mn2 plus. So plus seven to plus two, five electron change. Correct? So C2O4 2 minus 2 CO2. How many electron change? See, write the uh, oxidation state here. C2O4 2 minus means I will calculate it here. So 2x minus 8 because oxygen is minus 2 into 4 is equal to minus 2. So 2x is equal to 6. x is equal to 3. So plus 3. Correct? So C here plus 4 CO2. This is over. Next you can see here plus 3 to plus 4 how many unit change? 1 unit. If you write like that it is wrong remember. See here 1 Mn, 1 Mn, 1 Br, 1 Br no difference. But here 1 Mn, 1 Mn correct but 2C, 1C, 2C, 1C. How this calculation goes remember like this. Plus 3 to plus 4 means 1 unit change correct? Huh? Plus 3 to plus 4 means 1 unit change. For how many carbon? For 1 carbon. But how many carbons are there? Two carbon carbons are there. See, two carbons are there. Two C, two C. You cannot remove this two, but I can add this two, two here. So, one carbon to one carbon, one unit change. Two carbon to two carbon, two unit change. So, I will write two electron here. Like this, you have to write. I will tell you in next problem also. Now, five and two simplify ago the light. It will never get simplified. Hence, multiply five with C two, two with M N. Five with C two, two with M N. See, two M N O four minus plus 5C2O4 2 minus give rise to give rise to 2MN2 plus plus so H2O plus now you can you have to remember see already 2 is there because to balance this I have written 2 so 5 into 2 10 you have to write not only 5 5 into 2 10 CO2 right now oxygen you have to balance to balance oxygen what we will do See, 4 to the 8, 5 4 the 20, 28 oxygens are there this side. Here, 10 to the 20, 20 is there. Here 1, I want another 8, another 8 means what we will do? We will write 8 here. See, very simple. You cannot add once again oxygen, not necessary to add water. So, you add one more number here, 8. So that, 8 S2 means, in this particular case, this side remember, I have to write as 16 H plus. 16H plus. So the balance equation is so 2MnO4 minus plus 5C2O4 2 minus plus 16H plus give rise to 2MN2 plus plus 8H2O plus 10CO2. So what type of question can be asked on this type of balancing? I have already explained in case of the redox reaction, the D and F block chapter. So remember and you can see that. Now, in this particular case, see, here you first you calculate the oxidation state, Cr2O7 2 minus, 
give rise to Cr3 plus SO3 2 minus give rise to SO4 2 minus C. Cr2 is there, I will write first 2. First you balance that. Cr is plus 6 here, plus 3 here. Plus 6 to plus 3 means 3 unit change. So, but there are 2 CR, so 6 unit change I will write. See, 1 CR to 1 CR, 3 unit change. But 2 CR is there, 6 unit. So, SO3 2 minus is plus 4. SO4 2 minus is plus 6. So, 2 unit change here. Now, 2 1s are, 2 3s are. Now, simplify. As a cross multiply, 3 to S, 1 to CR. Right. CR 2 7 2 minus plus 3 to SO3 2 minus. So, 3 to SO3 2 minus plus I will write it here. Hydrogen I have to add. So, CR3 plus already 2 is there 1. So, 2 CR3 plus plus SO4 2 minus 3 into SO4 through 2 minus 3 SO4 2 minus plus. Now, see the oxygen. 7 here 3 3 is a 9. 9 plus 7 16. So, 3 4 is a 12. Correct? So, 7 3 3 is a 9. So, 7 plus 9. 16. Here 3 4 is a 12 is there. I want 4 S2. 4 S2. So, 8 H plus. 8 H plus. Like this. One, one important point is that what the mistake will do. The CR2 CR will take it as only 6 3 unit change. That is wrong. 6 unit change you have to take. See this one directly I will balance. So plus 6 here. Plus 3 here. Plus 2 here. Plus 1 here. How many unit change? 1 unit change. Multiply this 1. So 1 and here 2 is there. Hence I will write 2. Correct? So very simplification. In the fraction of second you can finish it. 2 to 3. 1 unit change. So multiply it to this 1 and this 1. But 2 CR is there. 2 CR I have written. So CR plus 6 to plus 3 means 2 unit change. 3 unit change. But remember 2 CR is there. 6 unit change. So multiply 6 here. 6 FE. 6 FE. So now balance oxygen. So 7 oxygen here. Here there is no oxygen. Hence I have to write 7 H2O. 7 H2O. 7 H2 means plus 14 H plus. Right. If you are not understood, listen once again. So the balance chemical equation is CR2072 minus plus 6 FE2 plus plus 14 H plus give rise to 6 FE3 plus plus 2 CR3 plus plus 7 H2. This is it. Now balance in basic medium. One example I will give you. Basic medium. Basic medium what happens is, so you cannot balance hydrogen and oxygen before balancing charge. So here remember you have never seen the charge anywhere. Charge will get balanced easily. But here charge will not be balanced easily. Basic medium. You have to balance the charge first. After balancing this oxidation state, then you have to go for, remember, that particular hydrogen and oxygen. See, one example I will tell you, plus 7, plus 4, minus 1, here it is plus 5. Now, MnO4 minus 2 MnO2, number of oxidation states changes, 3. Then I minus 2, IO3 minus, number of oxidation state changes, 6 here. Because already I told, plus 5 here, minus 1 to plus 5 means, see, minus 1 to plus 5, 6 unit change. Right? Now, 3 1s are, 3 2s are, 2 multiplied to Mn. So, 2 MnO4 minus, plus I minus, I minus is 1 it is, because here, 1, 3 1s are, so 1 into I minus, give rise to, so 2 MnO2 plus IO3 minus. You have written this, balance this, yes. Now we have to balance charge. To balance charge, what we will do? See, 2 minus plus 1 minus. How many minus? 3 minus here. But how many minus here? 1 minus here. I want to in another 2 minus at product side. So hence I will write 2 OH minus. So always remember here, if you want minus charge, what you have to do? You cannot add directly electron. You have to add OH minus only. Remember, fix this point. OH minus only. So OH minus, I have written. 2 OH minus. So 2 minus plus 1 minus 3 minus. Now you can see 2 minus plus 1 minus 3 minus charge is balanced. Now see the oxygen. 4 to the 8. Here 2 to the 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9 it is. See 8 here, 9 here. One oxygen need reactant side. What you have to do? H2O. H2O. Then you can see hydrogen 2. Here also 2 hydrogen it is balanced. So balanced chemical equation. Like this basic medium you can balance. Some more examples if you want you can take it from some reference books and you can practice. So remember this is about the synopsis part of the redox reaction and this uh, colorful notes if you want.
as i told and i will tell this in the every uh, uh, this video so you have to download this this telegram app in your mobile so that i have given the link in the this description box just you click on that link after downloading this so you are going to direct it to telegram group so there you can see all other old the synopsis also remember that point now you will see another example i have already it is there basic medium fine this also will finish it out right here plus 7 plus 4 s2 o3 2 minus you can see s2 is there i will write 2s first here 2s first here so s2 o3 2 minus so uh, here if you calculate 2x 2x minus 6 equal to minus 2 2x is equal to uh, 4 here plus 4 so x is equal to plus 2 plus 2 here and here it is plus 6 plus 6 now you can see mn to mn how many unit change 4 plus 3 which means 3 unit change right see mno4 minus plus s2 3 2 minus give rise to mno2 plus so 4 2 minus plus what I have to add I will tell you so see here mn to m this to this how many unit change 3 unit change correct 3 unit change means what I have to do you have to multiply that to s 3s here and already 2 is there so 3 2 is a 6s here see now 1s to 1s how many unit change 2 to 4 6 means 4 unit but how many s are there 2 s are there 2 sulfur are there 1 unit 1 sulfur to 1 sulfur 4 unit change 2 sulfur to 2 sulfur 8 unit change so that 8 multiplied to mn 8 here 8 here very simple now calculate oxygen 8 4 is a 24 sorry 32 32 plus 3 3 is a 9 so 41 oxygen is here 41 oxygen is here so 8 2 is a 16 6 4 is a 20 24 24 plus 16 40 are there 41 is there here 40 are there here what you have to do you want sorry first you have to balance charge no charge 8 minus plus 3 2 is a 6 minus 8 minus plus 3 2 is a 6 minus 14 minus are this side see here 6 2 is a 12 minus is there 12 minus you means it means 2 minus is required this side basic medium it is so 2 OH minus I will write 2 OH minus now balance the oxygen 8 4 is a 32 plus 9 41 here 8 2 is a 16 plus 20 so 42 42 is there oxygen here so I, would, I want one ox water here yes 2 so, two hydrogen, two hydrogen balanced. So, which means this is the balanced chemical equation for this. Like this, you can balance. Lastly, equivalent mass of oxidizing and reducing agent. Equivalent mass of the oxidizing agent, remember, molar mass divided by number of electrons gained. For example, KMNO4 plus 6, 7, 2 plus 2. How many unit change? 5 unit change, correct? So, equivalent mass is equal to 158 is the molar mass of KMNO4, you can calculate, divided by 5, 31.6 is the answer. Similarly, K2Cr207 plus 6 unit change. So, 1 chromium, 1 chromium, 3 unit, 2 chromium, 6 unit, 6 unit. So, 6 I have written. Equivalent mass of, this is molecular mass of K2Cr207 is 294 divided by 6, 49 is the answer. Similarly, reducing agent, molar mass divided by number of electrons lost. So, FeSO4 plus 2 to plus 3, 1 electron change. So, 152 is the atomic mass of, molecular mass of FeSO4 divided by 1. So, the answer is 152. Like this. The equivalent mass of the oxidizing agent and reducing agent can be calculated very easily. Now we will solve previous year questions. Very simple. Only five questions I have taken in this particular case. Yes. First one. The number of moles of electrons required to reduce 0.2 mole of Cr2072 minus to Cr3 plus. Write that first. Write that first. Cr2072 minus to Cr3 plus. So this is one mole, correct? So one mole and it will form two Cr because Cr2 is there, two Cr I will write. So here oxidation state plus 6 to plus 3. Plus 6 to plus 3 means 3 unit but two Cr is there, 6 unit. So 6 electrons, 6 nothing but 6 moles of electrons, remember. 6 moles of electron needed. Which means for one mole of Cr2 O7 2 minus, 6 moles of electron is needed. So, what is they have given? 0 0.2 mole of Cr207 minus how much? 6 into 0.2 is nothing but 1.2 is the answer. 
Now this one. See this one already I have balanced. So here C2 for 2 minus the same thing here. Same thing. Only thing is they have written H2. I have removed H2. I have written 2 minus here. Both are same. So simplify. So the finally we will get 2MN 5C2 16H plus 2MN 8S2 10CO2. Right. So here also. Which means the answer for this is X is equal to 2MN and here 5Y Z is equal to 16H plus and M is equal to 2 here and N is equal to 10 here and water is equal to 8 here. So what is the answer then? 2XY M and N they are asking. So 2, 5, 2, 10. 2, 5, 2, 10 answer is this one. So this is the answer. Now, in this case, which is oxidizing agent they are asking. How to identify? See, oxidizing agent is the one itself undergo reduction. Oxidizing agent, how to identify? You have to see in that compound any element whether it undergo oxidizing agent or not. Now, there is a possibility. See, we will learn that for sulfuric acid oxidizing agent. Correct? Hence, we think that generally sulfuric acid is the answer for oxidizing agent. Wrong. See, calculate the oxidation state. Calculate the oxidation state. Here, iron is plus 2. Fe is plus 3. Which means definitely iron is undergoing oxidation. Which means FeSO4 is reducing agent. Remember, FeSO4 is reducing agent, no doubt. Out of these two, one oxidizing agent is there. Which one? You see the oxidation state. Hydrogen, hydrogen, oxidation state, any change is there? No. Sulfur, sulfur, any oxidation state change is there? No. Here also plus 6, here also plus 6. Remember, SO4, SO4 unit when it is there, there is no change in the oxidation state. Here also plus 6, sulfur. Here also plus 6, so sulfur, no change. Then oxygen to oxygen, any change is there? Minus 2, minus 2, there is no change. SO4 is also minus 2, H2 is also minus 2. Now, in this case, hydrogen, hydrogen, any change is there? No. But oxygen, you can say peroxide is minus 1. Here it is minus 2. Here also oxygen minus 2 only. Which means totally oxygen has undergo reduction that is present in the H2O2. Which means it should be oxidizing agent. So H2O2 is the oxidizing agent. How to identify? You have to see which element in which compound the element undergo oxidation that is reducing agent. Which compound element undergo reduction that is oxidizing agent. Remember that. Then oxidation state of Fe in the brown ring complex. So very important in this. Remember here the charge is actually coordination compound complex but I have taken important on theory. So NO is plus one charge. Remember this. NO is not neutral. NO is plus one charge. So or you can remember like this. Brown ring complex is the only complex for iron in which iron is in plus one oxidation state. This is the only I see iron plus one is not stable. So iron is the plus one only oxidation state in this. Now F is X. Right? H2 is neutral ligand. We already know that. 0. So here it is plus 1. Right? So is equal to is equal to SO4 is minus 2. Or you can add like this also. Minus 2. SO4 is minus 2. Oh, minus 2. I will write it like this. X plus 0 water plus 1 and SO4 is minus 2 is equal to total 0. So X is equal to plus 1 you will get like this. Plus 1 is the answer here. The conversion of Br2 to BrO3 minus. See Br2 to BrO3 minus. <laughs> Br2 to BrO3 minus. So oh, oxidation number of Br changes from. Oxidation number of Br changes from in this particular case. So here in this case it is 0. Oxidation state is 0. Correct? So here plus 5. This is elemental state. 0, 0 to plus 5. So, 0 to plus 5 is the answer. But if the same question asked for how many number of electrons changed? How many number of electrons changed here? See, Br2 is there, I have to write 2. 1 Br2, 1 Br5 unit change. So, total unit change is 10 electron if they ask. But it is not asked here. Only oxidation number change they have asked 0 to plus 5. If they ask how many electron change, the answer is 10. Remember this point. So this completes the redox reaction chapter. So it's not that much important chapter, but once at least if you go through these video, definitely I can assure you that you can remember these things. This is this much is enough for CET. Don't worry about this. And definitely it will help you in a neat also. Yes. So share to the maximum. So your friends also remember. So if you are visited my channel for the first time, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.